Uh, Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations to all of our nominees. I want to start with the judge. Um, judge, in terms of the powers given to the various branches of government, uh, it, is the uh, U.S. Constitution a doctrine of plenary powers or enumerated powers? Thank you, Senator, for your question. You're welcome. Congress has afforded enumerated powers uh, in the Constitution, not plenary powers. Okay. Um, counsel, we know that the 14th Amendment, requires states to afford equal protection of the law to its citizens. But it only applies to the states. What provision of the federal constitution requires the federal government to afford equal protection? Well, the, the, uh, the, the 14th Amendment, um, as well as uh, the, the Fifth Amendment also, guaranteed due process to all citizens, um, the federal process and or state, and, uh, and as well, um, under the, uh, I think, the 14th Amendment also, uh, the, uh, the, the federal government is bound by the 14th Amendment of the federal constitution. So it also uh, would bind um, the, uh, the federal entities. Okay. Um, Counselor, what is the difference between the privileges and immunities clause and the privileges or immunities clause of the constitutions. Thank you, Senator. The privileges and immunities clause in the Constitution uh, prevents states from discriminating against uh, citizens of other states. Um, and then the privileges or immunities clause in the 14th Amendment uh, prevents states from uh, uh, disparaging or uh, discriminating against citizens in their federal rights. Okay. Um, Mr. DeZeno, did I say that your name right? Yes, sir. Please don't be offended, but I'm not about to mess with one of Senator Grassley's nominees, okay? <laughs> so let me start and go back that way. Uh, Counselor, I've got to ask you this question. You, you just became a partner at Bowie Scheller? Senator, I became a partner in 2020. Right. And you're going to give up all that big money to join the federal bench? You worked for all that time? Senator, I've been in private practice for 20 years now. Yeah. Um, and uh, you, were, you were at Skadden Arps? I started my career at Skadden Arps. You spent a lifetime there in one week, didn't you? <laughs> I got in a lot terms of billable hours. <laughs> I sure did, Senator, and I also got a lot of great training. Yeah. Um, I've enjoyed my time in private practice, but uh, I, I believe in public service, and uh, I'm honored to have the opportunity, if confirmed, to serve my country. Okay. Counselor, um, what we, we know that the United States Supreme Court has, uh, has de delimited, delineated certain classifications to be suspect classifications, right? What are they? Well, some examples of suspect... Uh, yeah, just list them for me because I don't have much time. Okay. Race is a suspect uh, right. classification. What else? Uh, national origin right. uh, is a suspect classification. Um, I think, uh, well, I'd have to look to see the rest. That's examples of two of them. Senator. Okay. What are the criteria for getting to be a suspect classification. I mean, we know that race and religion, as you said, and alienage and national origin are suspect classifications. But what are the criteria that, 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 that a classification has, has to uh, uh, meet in order to be a suspect classification? Is that clear or am I being unclear? The, the, the question is clear. We'll see how clear my answer is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've been a, a private practitioner for, for 35 years, and I'd had uh, cause to have to examine that. Uh, but as I understand, at least one of the aspects of what makes a class a suspect classification um, is, is the fact that it is a, a vulnerable uh, population. Um, vulnerable, it, vulnerable how so? Politically so. For example, uh, the, the uh, classification of minorities as a suspect class uh, was an example of one that was, uh, you know, politically... Uh, vulnerable. Uh, I know what that else? was one of the what factors. Else? Um, Senator, I'd have to, to research it to know, but that's what comes to mind. Okay. Judge, I'm going to land this plane in time. 
Uh, what's the Dorrant Commerce Clause? Senator, I appreciate your question. And as I sit here today after studying for the last two weeks, I just can't recall. I know I, it's in my note cards if you, if you want me to go grab them. Okay. And I apologize. Uh, yeah. That's okay. I'm done. I, uh, uh, Mr. DeZeno, please tell Grassley I, I didn't ask you any questions. Okay? Thank you, Senator. You Carol. bet.